Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The word of God declares that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes, yes. That old things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. Yes. So the Lord just wants to let you know today, no matter the circumstance you're in, no matter the condition you're in, that you can have a brand new life. No matter what you're going through, God wants you to know that you can have a brand new life. It doesn't matter about your past. It doesn't matter about what you've been through. It doesn't matter about yesterday. The word of God says that if any man be in Christ, if any man comes to a relationship with the true and the living God, he can be a brand new creation in Christ Jesus. And when you come into that relationship, your life becomes new. It's a supernatural, spiritual process that takes uh, a part in your life instantaneously. But you have to just find in your heart and find in your mind and find in your soul that there is a need for God, that I'm tired of going through the same old thing. I'm tired of the ups and downs of life. The scripture says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yes. We all made mistakes in this life. We all have a path. We all been through some things and done some things. We all have been there and done that. But I want you to know that there is forgiveness in Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter about what you've been through, what crime you committed. God will forgive you of all your sins. He says that if you confess your sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive you of all your sins and find yourself in a new place in Christ Jesus. Aren't you tired of going through the same old things? Aren't you tired of looking over your shoulder and wondering about the grind and wondering about the bag and saying, how am I going to get this? Aren't you tired of looking out for your ops? I want you to know that God has a plan and a purpose for your life today. If any man be in Christ, if anyone puts his heart into Jesus Christ, if anyone comes to the Lord, he wants you to come to him. He says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God wants to give you a rest in your soul tonight. He wants to give you a rest in your mind tonight. He wants to give you a rest in your heart tonight. It doesn't matter where you're at. If you would just call upon the name of the Lord, he'll save you from the circumstances and condition. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All you have to do is ask God for forgiveness. Ask God to come into your life. Ask God to come into your heart. And it doesn't matter about what you've been through. It doesn't matter about what you did. It doesn't matter about what you're used to. When you come into that relationship with the true and the living God, he gives you a brand new life. Come he gives on, you a brand new heart. Yes. He gives you a brand new mind. He restores you. He builds you up. He takes out the stony heart and puts in the heart of flesh. He wants you to come to him and have a right relationship with him. Not a religion but a relationship. God just wants to bust it up with you. God just wants to talk to you. He doesn't want you to deal with the struggles. Aren't you sick and tired of going up state road? Aren't you sick and tired of going up state? God wants you to go to Penn State. God wants you to go to the university. God wants to give you an education. He doesn't want you to die in these streets. There's nothing in these streets. And it may take a hard way for you to figure it out. I had to figure it out up state road. I had to figure it out in Holmesburg when they stayed at me in my back and almost paralyzed me. I had to figure it out that nothing is worth it in these streets. But when I came unto the Lord Jesus Christ, I found out that he's a peace that passes all understanding. I found out that he's a joy unspeakable and full of glory. I found out that Jesus would have my back more than anybody else. That Jesus would stand on his throne and give me direction and insight and wisdom and instruction on how to live a good life. I found out that Jesus was the way, the truth, and the life. I I found out that Jesus was the chain breaker. He came into my life and made me whole and made me new. And just like my brother, I'm not too far from here. I was raised down 22nd Street, so I know what I know that I know that God can take you and transform your heart, that God can renew your mind, that God can restore your life. It doesn't matter about what you used to be. When God gets a hold of you, he transforms you because he informs you of the goodness and the kindness and the grace of God. The world the word of God says that the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The Lord will transform your heart. The Lord will transform your mind. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending. We're talking about Jesus, the Lamb of God. I'm talking about Jesus, the Prince of Peace. I'm talking about Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He said, if I will lift them
mother, he would draw all men unto me. And I want God to draw the young man. I want God to draw the grown man. I want God to draw the black man and the white man. I want every man to come to the cross of Christ and enjoy the newness of life, enjoy the restoration that comes by transformation. God has a plan and a purpose for your life today. Anyone under the sound of my voice, he says, I know the thought that I think towards you, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end, to give you a bright future. God is knocking at the door of your heart today and he wants you to come into a right relationship with him. He's drawing you, he's knocking. He wants to come in and have fellowship with you and talk with you. God is knocking at the door of your heart, the true and the living God, the life changing, the life giving, the life transforming, the true and the living God. His name is Jesus the Christ the Lamb of God, Jesus the Prince of Peace, Jesus the King of Kings, Jesus the Lord of Lords, who was slain before the foundation of the world. I'm talking about the Lamb of God, the King of Kings, the Almighty, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, the Redeemer of my soul, the Renewer of my mind. He's knocking at the door of your heart today. He wants to transform you by the living word of the living God today. Tomorrow is not promised. Right now is the time of salvation. Right now is the time to give your heart to the true and the living God. If you want a change in your life, if you want a newness in your life, come to Jesus right now. Allow him to come into your heart and take you through the process of changing your heart and changing your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Our thoughts are bad, so our actions become bad, and it leads us to bad places. But the Word of God will transform your heart. The Word of God will renew your mind. The Word of God will restore your life. It's the life-giving, life-bringing, life-changing, living Word of the living God that will cause transformation in the soul of men. Now is the time to give your life to the Lord. Tomorrow is not promised. Nobody wakes up and say, you know what, it's a good day to die. We don't know the expiration date. And the question is, are you ready to meet the Lamb of God? Are you ready to stand before the true and the living God? Where will you go when you spend eternity, when you close your eyes for the last time? And you have to stand before God. They're gonna stand at your funeral and cry. They're gonna stand at your funeral and give you flowers. And in 20 minutes, they'll be eating fried chicken and potato salad, talking about he was a good God. And you will have to stand before God and give an account of your life. Do you know Jesus and the pardon of your sins? Do you know Jesus, the true and the living God? We all are preachers, but what are we preaching? Are we preaching life or death? I want to preach life to you. There's too much death going around. I want to preach life. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. We beheld His power. We beheld His life-changing grace when God will come in and transform the soul of men, transform the mind of men. God will renew the community but it starts with the man because the man is the leader so when God gets a hold of a man he can change a family he can change a community and now is the time of salvation tomorrow is not promised where will you spend eternity is the question will you spend it with Jesus or will you spend it away from Jesus the decision is yours all you have to do is confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised up from the dead and you shall be saved. It's not a whole bunch of do's and don'ts. You just come into a right relationship with the Lamb of God. Now is the time of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. Now is the time to give your life to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords, to the Prince of Peace, to the new and living God, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God loves you. And he has a plan and a purpose for your life today. And he knows many of us will not wake up and go to church, so he sent the church to you today. And everyone under the sound of my voice, you are responsible for the life-giving, life-changing word. When you accept it or reject it, the choice is yours. Jesus is Lord. Yes!